So today I come across this video. This is the fucking worst YouTube video I've ever seen. Mate, you should feel ashamed of yourself. So this is, I got a job at McDonald's and this is what happens. Now, let me tell you, me, Joe, Joe the driver, driver Joe, whatever you want to call me, been called ways. I know what it's like to work in McDonald's. I never worked in McDonald's just once. I never worked in McDonald's just twice. I worked in McDonald's three times in three different stores. In my past, I started at the entry McDonald's and then got a transfer to Anfield McDonald's. Yes, there was a McDonald's in Anfield Stadium. Not many people know about it. And the last and thank God least, the last one I worked in was Rice Lane. So we're going to give this video a start. Let's get going on this. Let's see what his first day working in McDonald's is like. And let's see how much of a moron he sounds. Ollie's working in Mackey's. Now, do you know what? I don't even know who this fella is. Um, he's he's got some like. How long has this video been up? Oh, it's been up a while. He mustn't be he, he, that good, like, because he hasn't got that many views. Well, he's got what? He's, he's all right with the subscribers. Let's let's have a look, Ollie White. Let's put. Let's find who he is. Let's have a gander. Oh, he's riding camels. Ah, oh, no, this Ollie White. Oh, he's got a few. Got a few channels. Um, yeah. So, so I, I'm surmising he's a millionaire. Um, and he's gone to work at McDonald's. Let's, let's have a look. Ollie White. What we all want to know. Net worth. Let's see what Ali, Ali White's net worth is. Ali White uh, is a British social, me social media personality and an author who has a net worth of six million. So he's a millionaire. He's a millionaire. So that, that, that makes it even cringier now watching this. So let's see how Ali White's shift in Mackey's went. Sir? Yeah, we're, we're not we're not asked, Ollie. Get a get to it. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Let's see what you're wearing. Oh ho! Oh, he's wearing the grey and yellow uniform. He's got no stars on his badge. He looks pimped out in that grey Mackey's suit. Right, he looks like a fucking criminal. What I've never seen to pose it on. Right, uniform. I knew this was going to come. So this was my uniform when I worked in McDonald's. Now I can't get a proper one because it's it's so old you can't get it anymore. So it was exactly the same as this, but it was red instead of yellow. I looked like fucking Woody from Toy Story. Honest to God, every time I wore that uniform, it made me cringe. Because I did, I looked like Woody from Toy Story. It was, it was. A, do you know what? It's a vile place to work. Oh, it was. So let's let's carry on. Let's see what Ollie's getting up to. Oh my God! Oh, here we go. Is hello, Andrea. I've noticed that in the last couple of years, I go to McDonald's quite a lot. As you can tell, and a lot of the staff there now are like um, Eastern Europeans. It's because no one wants to do it, and I'll tell you why coming on in the video. But let's carry on. Okay, right. Let's get into the kitchen. Come on. Come on, get to the point. They didn't do all that when I worked in McDonald's. 
So when I worked there, there was no chicken selects, there was no chicken wraps. Um, fucking hell. Yeah, no, there was none of that. Oh. oh, it's yeah, lad. Look at that that wig you've got on you. Oh, look at that thick hair. Put that hair net on, lad. I was lucky. I never had to wear one. Right. So here he is, arsing around with an hair net. Yeah. And the employees are watching him and they're thinking, fucking hell, this millionaire's coming here. He's asking around with a hairnet, this is my job. I've got to come here at least five days a week to do this job. I've got to get on with it. And he's making jokes. He's basically taking the piss out the staff already. <laughs> I can do what I want. If any member of the staff done that in Mackey's, did that have their ass handed to them? I'll just get to it. It's the burger press. Oh my god, why is it mental? So I'm here with Ruben. How you doing? You good? We're gonna, we're gonna be learning how to. Look at the face on Ruben. Look at that face. Ruben doesn't want to be there. Ruben's dreading this interaction. He's got his little pimp look, but I just know he's pissed off and he doesn't want to be there. Oh, Ruben's got four stars, I see. He's a pimp, P-I-M-P -P in the Mackey's world. Come on, carry on, lad. Carry on. I like the way he's just done that. He didn't say, it's fantastic working in McDonald's. He said, it's fine. Which he doesn't really want to say, it's shit. I come here, I'm on my feet all day. I get bollocked if I've got white socks. Or I used to anyway. So when I worked in Anfield, so like I said, there used to be um, a Mackey's in Anfield by Turnstile C. I don't know football, you know that. And that's where it was. It was the grimmest place ever. So I don't know if you know Anfield. Anyway, it's full of smackheads. Everyone that lives there is full of smackheads. Look at this girl. She, she looks like she's in a row full of uh, abusers. <laughs> she's just like footballing around and shitting herself. I don't know who these are. These are probably um, footballers. I'm none the wiser. So I used to work in this McDonald's. Um, so a lot of the time I'd do open. So I'd get there. I think we opened at 10 o'clock, if I can remember rightly. Used to get there, 9 o'clock, get the grills on, make myself a bacon roll, go in the lobby, have a smoke. Uh, it was it was, it was was a terrible place to work. Um, but I liked the staff. The staff in this McDonald's was fantastic. I'll give them that one. When I worked in Aintree, the staff were all arseholes. They thought they were better than, yeah. Um, and the funny thing was, they worked in McDonald's and they thought they were better than you. Yeah. Anyway, let's carry on. Let's see how Ollie's doing. He's learned a lot of skills working in McDonald's. Tell me what skills you've learned, Ruben. Tell me what skills you've learned that you can take to the real world. Come on. Oh, he's making a burger. Do the nine nuggets. Just, just give him. Oh, he's going to make a big match. I was boss at making Big Macs. I'll take my hat off to myself on this one. I was great at making Big Macs. It's all about speed. Because <laughs> you've got to put... Your... Well, that's changed. When It was like a press. Um, so there was a three-layer press. 
bottom bun, middle bun, top bun, short it, grills it. Oh, oh, oh. Our Ollie lads just um, cut your shit all. Your shit. You're just a little fat lad. You eat more burgers than you sell. That's why you've got no stars. Pock out of black. Oh, he tipped everyone. He got stuff for teaching everyone. Yeah, come on. Yeah. This is totally different to how I done it. We didn't all do it in the box. Uh, what? What? What's going on here? So they're not even grilling the burgers? They're not even grilling the burgers? So we used to have one of these machines, but it was mainly for breakfast and nuggets and chicken. Yeah, so <laughs> the chicken stuff used to live in this. We didn't put burgers in and stuff like that. Breakfast stuff we did, but we didn't put like, we done it all fresh. So what we do is we get our glove on, grab our burgers, nine patties, <laughs> smack them on the side. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we didn't even, I, I'm doing that action. We didn't even do that. Uh, it was just like a little tap and it closed. And then I think it was 54 seconds it'd take. In that 54 seconds, quickly get nine buns. One, two, uh, it wasn't nine buns. I tell a lie, I tell a lie. It was um, six buns, yeah. So it was six buns. Six buns down to do your Big Macs. That's how you do it. Six buns down, put them in the press, press it. I think it was 15 seconds. So 15 seconds, that'd be done. Quickly get them out. You had like a big metal spatula thing. Get your buns out, put them down. Get your sauce, bang, 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 bang. And you do it all. And then as your burgers, as your buns, as your buns were ready your patties would be ready then and then you quickly go with a spatula and a set of tongs get them all in a big pile um but what you're doing with your with your buns you could like put clip the tray on the grill so you weren't like taking the meat far distances uh and that's how you do it and you put them on put them on take them back to the table put them layer them up Put them in the box. That was it. Bang. Gone. And everything was fresh made to order back in the day. They're not even doing that now. Lazy bar stewards. He's loving it. I'm a pro. I'm actually a pro. I don't think you really made it, mate. Right. No, we didn't, actually. Ollie made it. I mean, not Ollie. He's Ollie. Ruben. Ruben the Cuban made it. Oh uh, come on, let's let's have a look at this one. What? Look at the face on this woman. She's like, what the fuck? Leave me alone. Let me work. Do you know what? I feel sorry. And notice this was an ad. So their boss has paid this lad to come in and do this video it's so fucking degrading for the staff watching all this going on he's probably getting paid more to come in on this one day than she's getting in a couple of years right let's carry on oh my god put the chips in come on yeah. This one. Yeah. In here. Yes. Why is he? Yeah. That's it, lads. Wow. So just, you know, mixing it. I, I think I'd fit in perfectly. You know, I've got some Oh my god. Yeah. I would want fries like that. Yeah. This is, this is like a dream come true. Uh, so we're gonna make this. It's a dream come true. I'm working in McDonald's. <laughs> Damn, you're an assistant. Damn, you're minimum wage, bitch. Damn. 
Right, here's another one about McDonald's. So they have all these unnecessary job roles. Uh, and basically it's to make you sound more important than what you are. Um, they give you a couple of pence pay rides, not much. But the whole point of it isn't to give you the pay rise. It's not to give you more responsibilities. It's to make you feel good inside and give you a different job role so it makes you sound more important. And when you sound more important, you feel more loved, you feel more, what's the word I'm thinking of, um, valuable to the company. But you're not, love, but you're not. So let's carry on. Right, what's going on here? Oh, Mc, McFlurry. So McFlurry's only just come in not long after I was about to leave. Okay, right. So tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, perfect. Oh, well, not that bit. Don't touch it with your hands, Ollie. Lid. I was going to like put it over, but no, you can't do that. No, Lid. Okay, so we'll just leave it there for now. How many do we do? Two. Yeah, two. Oh, they've changed a bit. They've made them more idiot proof. <laughs> They don't use this anymore. Next time you get a McFlurry, see if they mix it like this. Nine times out of ten they don't because they're lazy. Right, so so you're not even doing it right because that's not how you get it. Oh, oh, he's on the till. Chicken legends. This is painful watching. Look at the face on her. She's like, what the fuck? I just want to come in and do my job. How long is he on this till for? Is he still on it? Is this lad like feeding the homeless? Enter a survey. Quote Ollie. Quote Ollie on the survey. Ollie's not asked. Ollie's getting big bucks for doing this. Come on. McDonald's uniform is eating away. Right, right. I've got a problem here. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause this. So you get a meal in McDonald's. I know that. I know that. I've been there. I've done that. Right. I can't get the perfect view of this. I've just been on it. So. Oh, shoot. Why am I so stupid, Joe? Here we go, here's Ollie's tray here. So, as you can see, he's got the chicken. You can get a medium meal and a drink. You know, medium meal, it sounds. So, chips, your main, let's call it, and your drink, yeah. Now, he's got barbecue sauces. Now, he's got two barbecue sauces. He's got the 20 pence barbecue sauces. There's no way they'd let him take it. There's no way. They wouldn't have it. They might give him one because he's got a select meal. I don't even think they'd be do that. They'd be like, take cheap shit ones. Don't be taking the 20 pence sauces because they won't. It's all about cost saving. So I haven't got anything similar to it. So you get a file of facts and you've got to write down, or you did do, your meal, your full meal. Coke, you had to specify Coke, specify Big Mac, specify the chips, and that's what you had to do. So there's no way they've let him take them 20 pence barbecue sauces. I bet you they're not even on the sheet. Chips are less, mm. What have you got? Chips, chicken select, barbecue sauce. Oh my sauce. god. Are you allowed to be here? Are you sure? Yeah, they gave me a break. So I am. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh she's got a smile on her face. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, look at this felon in the back, he's my hero, look at him, miserable bastard, he's a miserable bastard in the back, he's like, what the fuck Ollie, why are you here lad, why are you here, I, I, I want them to interview him, that'd be my dream if they interviewed him. 20 years, love. I feel so sorry for you. 
there's better things out there. Yeah, what do you do now? Oh, look at this one. You're boring me, to be honest with, with you. What? Sorry, everyone. Oh, here we go, Reaper. I bet you she takes more than one Big Mac on a lunch. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> love, love. He's getting paid about five times what you're getting. Yeah, yeah. So what you're getting in five years, he's getting in one shift. Oh my god. Come on, lads. Oh my god. So many incredible skills from just being here. Do, do, do you know what? Do you know what? There's a film called The Founder. It's a great film. I love it actually. Michael Keaton's in it. Uh, it's how he blags McDonald's, how he gets the company. But the brothers that originally started, they have McDonald's all tied down to a tee. They're on a tennis court, if I can remember rightly. And the choking on the floor where the grill's going, where every and they do it for easiness, not you know, e easiness and speed. So it's not difficult at all. It's so more on proof working in McDonald's. It's so easy. The only problem that I used to hate is the clean up at the end of the night, because it used to be like a two, two and a half hour thing, um, and the smell, the smell when you used to go home, you used to stink of. Grease, and um, you'd have two, maybe three showers to get rid of the smell, and you could still smell it. And if you were coming in at like one, two o'clock in the morning, you were done because you'd have to go home, put uniform because they only give you two uniforms, so you'd have to get a uniform in the wash. Um, you'd have to get this uniform washed and dried for the next shift. Half the time, if you left any uniform in the Staff room, it'd get nicked. Other staff would nick it. That's how bad it was. It was a terrible job, but it's a great job for people starting off. The reason it's a great job for people starting off, because they go in, they do it, and they realise, God, I want better than this in my life. There's no way I want to be stuck here forever. Now, Ollie, I'm going to let you go. Um, I, I hope you made a fortune to go to McDonald's for the day, and smell yourself what do you smell like if you if you i don't know if you're even gonna entertain me and watch this tell me what you smell like at the end of your shift right thanks for watching that's me working in mcdonald's if you like what i do give us a thumbs up if you're not already please subscribe if you want to help the channel out you can on the thank you button on the bottom right take care have a great day and i'm going